So I went on ASOS and Public Desire and did some damage. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing with you some of the items that I copped from my latest misbehavior on ASOS and Public Desire. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of these items and I'm super excited! I really hope you can join me on this YouTube journey by subscribing to my channel if you find it useful or if you just like seeing my face, why not, you know, subscribe. And if this video is helpful, don't forget to like. Alright, I'm super excited so let's get to it. So I'm going to be putting everything I show you here in the description box, the price or the links to it. Um, so if you want to go check it out for free, check in the description box, I'm going to have everything. All right, so where do we start? Um, this has to be like my favorite, favorite purchase, like this time around. I love this coat. It is so cozy. Come on, like it's cozy. It's, I love the the print, the chest print thing or the towel print thing going on here. Um, it's monochromatic. It, you can put it over a bunch of different things and I'm just super excited. And um, I got this in a size two. It's oversized, but I think it still works for me. I can't wait to style this with like neon. I'm like really obsessed with neon now, if you guys have noticed. <laughs> but I can't wait to style it with like neon, green, or like pink. I'm gonna be sharing like the different ways that I styled it here. Um, hopefully you can catch some inspiration. All right, so another thing, I think the theme for my ASOS shopping this time around dramatic i was going for the dramatic asos can be a little bit it's like it makes me dizzy sometimes going through asos because there's just so many options i decided to narrow down my search this time around and if you go to the asos lux um filter so that basically has like the luxury quote kind of quote <laughs> luxury version of of asos um, so that's how I found some of these items and this is like this dramatic sleeve Going on. I really really like this top. I love the color cobalt blue is bay. <laughs> I really love it um, It's too small for me. Unfortunately. I know I know I'm never going to learn my lesson I'm no longer too well. Sometimes I'm still a two I think but um, most times now, I think I'm leaning more towards a four, and that's fine. That's okay. We grow, we grow bigger. That's fine. <laughs> I probably need to go one size up. Uh, so this is a two. It doesn't even zip in the back, guys. But I'm still gonna show you guys how I started. The next thing I have here is this lovely pencil skirt. It has this whole sleeve thing going on. I honestly was a little skeptical about this because I wasn't sure what the material was going to look like or like, you know, the fit. I always struggle with any skirt that's like leaning towards a wrap skirt. It it could be tricky for me. So, but it actually turned out well. It turned out really great. I really like it. And I bought a size two. It fits perfectly, which is very, very surprising. Like I never go to for bottoms. Um, so you probably need to size down for this skirt, I think. Uh, but I really like it. I I think it can you can wear it to work, depending on where you work. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can wear it to work. You can wear it to brunch. You can wear it out. Whatever you want to do with it. But I I love the color. I love the khaki going on. This is also a top. Like I told you guys, extra or go back home. Okay, so. Um, this top is, it has a lot going on for sure, um, but I really love the color. Um, it has this bow thing that you can tie in the back and hopefully you can see how I styled it. Again, this came in too big, too small actually. This is a size two. 
so I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't zip this either and I'm just like really pissed at myself I should have just gone a size up um, I knew when I was picking this out I knew it wasn't gonna be my size but I was you know secretly hoping it would <laughs> right so we're gonna transition to accessories now I picked up a few accessories um, this cute little hat the neon of course like I told you guys I'm going neon um, it's warm it's cozy it's cute yeah so and then I got these neon pumps oh my goodness these shoes are amazing they look cute they're so so cute um I got this in a size I'm a size 9 so <laughs> this is a size 9 and I just I'm so excited for this because I have so many plans. So, so many plans. They're comfortable. Um, yeah, I don't have any problems with them. But hopefully you can see some of the styling here. I also got this pink purse. So it's like a towel style, towel material style purse. Um, it looks definitely looks better or looks better in person than it did online. So I was a bit skeptical, but I actually really like it. I like that. Um, it's the perfect size and I have the perfect public desire shoes to go with it which I'm going to be showing you guys shortly. The next thing here I have is or oh, are these sunglasses. Look at that. These are solid guys. Like what do you think? I really like them. They are Quay. Um, I think it's, it's an Australian designer um, and they're very solid. I really like how solid they are. So I actually found something similar. This style, exact style of glasses in Tom Ford. Um, and I really, really like them, but I was just like, Ugh, they were so expensive. <laughs> so I didn't end up buying the Tom Fords, but these are like much more affordable. And I honestly feel like the quality is just about the same. So yeah, what you think? The cat eyes and all of that. But finally for ASOS, I um, also got this purse. This pink purse is from River Island. Love it, love, love, love. This is like a perfect work, work purse, um, you know. And it's just like really sturdy. I like how sturdy it is. And you know guys, I really like pink. Pink is my color. So this is a yes for me, definitely a yes. Now let's go to Public Desire. I got a number of shoes from Public Desire. They had, um, I think, end of year sales about a few weeks ago. And I went on there, I went wild. <laughs> I went wild, guys. But I'm pretty happy with most of my purchase. Um, where should we start? Up with this pink sandals. Hopefully you can see the picture of how it actually looks. I love these sandals and it's the perfect one for my pink ASOS purse that I showed you guys earlier. So this baby pink is like giving me life. I have so many plans for it. It has the pointy, um, whatever, pointy toes. And then, you know, this is pretty, very public desire. You know their shoes when you see them. This item I have here is obviously a dupe, a Bottega, a Bottega dupe. I cannot afford Bottega. So here I am with my public design. <laughs> so I got this yellow um, sandals. I love the mesh thing going on. I know people are like a mix. Some people don't really like the mesh thing, the mesh style. Some people do, but I think they look really cute if you style them very well. Can we just like be done with tie tie shoes i mean shoe, shoes with straps that you have to tie over and over again like i'm tired even though i be so extra with my fashion i think that i still appreciate convenience and it would be really nice to have shoes that i can just slip into and go you know the next um pair of shoes i have are these chocolate pumps Oh my goodness, well they're not exactly like full pumps, um, but 
I really, 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 really love this color, really. And my friend got me this purse for my birthday. Um, and I think it goes perfectly with the purse and I have so, so many plans for it. I love the color, like, have I said that? I really love the color. <laughs> um, but also, strap. The final um, pair of shoes from Public Desire that I'm going to be sharing today, um, these sandals, they're like, they have these long straps. I know, I keep complaining about straps, but here I am buying all shoes. <laughs> all my shoes have straps, I know, I know. They just look so cute though. Uh, I know. But this is mad, like, uncomfortable. I'm not even going to lie. This is something that you just wear for an event where you, you stay in the car, you wear them in the car, get down, maybe spend like 30 minutes and you're going back home. Cause, well, depending on how you tie them, if you want to tie them all the way up, um, it would be super uncomfortable because of the chain, but you could also just tie it around your ankles. That's kind of, I found that that was much more convenient and comfortable for me. So yeah, they're cute, but you're gonna cry hot tears. <laughs> all right people thanks for sticking with me that's the end of my haul today i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any favorites let me know in the comment section